Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the stars? Hmm, right? Ever since my fascination with black holes began, after watching the movie Interstellar, these mysterious and powerful cosmic entities were the most intriguing phenomena of the universe for me. So this is Neva Joshi from grade 8 and today we are going to dive into the world of black holes and let's unravel the mystery. So how a black hole is formed? As a massive star ages and the fuel depletes, the inward gravitational force increases than the outward reactional force. So the coal implodes in its own immense gravity and the implosion compresses the star's matter to an infinitely dense point known as the singularity, which marks the birth of a black hole, a region of extreme gravity. What are the parts of a black hole? So there are three main parts of a black hole. The first one is singularity. It is an infinitely dense point at its core. The second one is event horizon. It is a boundary beyond which nothing can escape its gravity. Third is the accretion disk. The accretion disk is formed due to the gravitational pull of a black hole. So there is a lot of gaseous matter and debris attracted towards the black hole and remains floating all around it in a similar way how planets revolve the sun. What are the types of black holes? First one, the stellar mass black hole. It is formed from the collapsing of massive stars. Second one. The supermassive black holes. They are very huge and found out at the centers of the galaxy. Our Milky Way has a supermassive black hole at its center too. And it is known as Sagittarius A. The third black hole type is intermediate black holes. It is in between the masses of the stellar black hole and the supermassive black hole. As we wrap up our dive into these black holes, let these mystery inspire your curiosity. Keep exploring, keep wondering, and stay curious. Thank you so much for joining me on the Space Adventure. And this is Neva Joshi, signing out.